Hey seniors, all of you boys especially, but girls you're welcome to join us, should be able to tie a tie before you graduate from high school. If you wanna learn how to tie a tie and practice from an expert, me, I've been doing this for 30 years, join me tomorrow at 2.30 in my Zoom room. Thank you. We start with the bottom up. Remember this is the basics, this is the essentials of men's fashion. We start with the shoes. All men should have one pair of black shoes, one pair of brown shoes. Along with that, you should have a sponge so you can shine them. And here in Tashkent, it's pretty dusty, so it's just always nice to have this in your closet. This sponge has no polish in it, so it's good for both black and brown. Another rule that you should know, the shoes always match the belt. So you put on black shoes, have a black belt. Brown shoes, brown belt. And just one little thing about belts. I like the ones that are soft leather. A lot of times you go to a store and you'll feel the ones that are hard leather. Both are fine, it's just your individual performance, but I like the soft ones. And finally, when it comes to matching socks, socks either match the color of the shoes or the color of the pants. So for a pair of black shoes, you can have your typical black socks or a dark blue or a similar color. With brown or khaki pants, brown socks are the way to go. This is one of my favorite suits. I suggest you just buy a gray suit, a dark blue or black suit, and then you can mix and match them with different outfits. I always have a blue shirt. Blue goes with just about anything, so it's uh, nice you can wear it with a gray suit or with a black suit. Uh, this gray shirt, if you can see here, has buttons here on the collars. I don't particularly like these. Um, I just like to have one free of buttons, but that's okay. And the other thing I want to just point out about this suit is I love the cut of the pants. If you zoom in on the, on the legs there, um, a lot of the suits that you will get, you can back off, a lot of the suits that you will get will be very baggy, so I like to have my pants fit me and uh, just have a nice um, slim fit. Some suits will come with a vest, so you can wear a vest underneath. Uh, I uh, particularly don't like to wear a vest. I think it's a little too uh, constricting, but uh, it's a nice look in the winter. I wanted to contrast with a different fit of pants. This is from Brooks Brothers Pants, and they're a Madison fit, so they're a little bit wider. And you can see down below, as you get towards the end, they get very baggy. I don't like that look, and I uh, prefer more of a sleek look on my I just want to point out the tie here. You're going to be learning the knot that I do. I only know one knot. I always use it all the time. And uh, just note that the tie, the end of the tie, should come to the middle of the belt buckle. That's a good one. Donald Trump wears it a little bit longer, and you see back in uh, the 60s and 70s, they used to wear the tie a little bit higher. But in today's men's fashion, it should be in the middle of your belt buckle.